Hello, in this video we will discuss about the type 1 interferon production and signaling pathway. So the type 1 family is basically the interferon alpha and isotypes interferon beta. And this is basically the isotype and interferon beta which that is responsible for the transcriptional transcription a large group of genes which that are present in the cell and which play a role uh, in host resistance to viral infection for example our cell will resist from the viral infection as well as activating the key component of innate and adaptive immune, adaptive immune system includes antigen production of cytokines and involve the activation of T cell and B cell and natural killer cell. So the natural killer cell as well as T cell and B cell will be activated through interferon receptor bind with the interferon will be proliferate and activate for the killing mechanism. That killing means the infected cell. So the infected cell will be killed by this mechanism through a immune cell activation. So here I am drawing the tissue, for example, infected tissue and non-infected tissue. Infected tissue is showing in the orange color while the non-infected tissue is showing in the blue color. So here is the virus when invade into the host cell, so the antigen containing virus, which that is basically go inside, will stimulate and the activation of interferon gene will be activated to produce the interferon. So after this interferon production, the paracrinally or autocrinally bind and activate the immune cell. So remember about these things. And after this activation of the immune cell, the B memory cell, T cell, macrophage, monocyte and dendritic cell and natural killer cell will be activated. For example, the natural killer cell will be activated to kill that infected cell. While on the other hand, the CD4, CD4 T helper cell will be detect and uh, after this detection the, through antigen presenting cell after this antigen presenting cell detection that will lead to help and in this way the CD8 T cell cytotoxic T cell will be activated to kill that uh, by enzymatic activity. So this is the B memory cells, T cells, a macrophage, a monocyte, rendered cell, and natural killer cell will be activated. While on the other hand, remember these things. It, it is it is basically here is the T helper and natural killer cell, which that will be kill that um, uh, infected cell. While here is the infected cell after the binding with the interferon receptor with info interferon uh, through a paracrinally, and after this will be apoptosis will be occur while on the other hand important thing is that the non-infected cell is also bound with the interferon will uh, will destroy the rna and reduce the protein synthesis anyhow this was the overview let's begin to understand i am drawing the graph for understanding the pathway with the receptor so the receptor ig1 and um, uh, uh, tyros, uh, tyrosine receptor, uh, uh, sorry, toll like receptor IEF interferon, toll like receptor interferon, and the uh, interferon factor, interferon receptor factor 7. And this is the basically the receptor and pathway which that is used for this and here is the major action we will discuss localization we will discuss inducer and cell and reference mean i am taking the reference from the uh, different research paper which that is showing the figure you can understand and i will put the uh, link in the description below for understanding the whole article about the type 1 interferon production and signaling pathway so this is basically the pathway is the uh, 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 here is the um, basically is the RIG rig you can understand as well rig one is contain rig one and mad five pathway which that is the major actor while the TRIF as well as the uh, IRF uh, interferon receptor factor seven so yeah. Here is the localization for the rig one is the cytoplasm and the many single stranded RNA double stranded RNA as well as the viruses is the inducer 
and the cell is the basically the convention dendritic cell fibroblast and hepatocytes while here the TRIF is the basically the toll like receptor 3 and um, uh, TRIF and toll like receptor 4 which that is used for the internal vesicle as well as the basically the plasma membrane and unmethylated dendritic uh, double stranded RNA and viral glycopro glycolipids is used as an inducer. While on the other hand, here is the IRF interferon receptor F7 is used for the uh, toll like receptor 9 and MYD88 and uh, protein and inter, uh, interferon receptor F7 and interferon receptor F5 which that is basically uh, the localization is the endosome and the inducer can be unmethylated RNA from pathogens and damaged host cell so the plasma cytoid dendritic cell is the cell and 8, 9, 10 is the reference while here the toll like receptor 7 and 8 and MYD88 protein interferon receptor factor 7 and interferon uh, receptor factor 5 which that is unmethylated RNA from pathogens and damaged host cell and CPG DNA chromos, uh, chromatin and chromatin and uh, immunocomplex formation so anyhow this is i am drawing the bigger picture of the cytoplasm as here is you can see this is a, a nucleus which that's contain a nuclear membrane bilayer of phospholipids and inside is the dna is that as a genetic material which that will be expressed so anyhow you can here is the nuclear membrane which contain also nuclear pore but i am not drawing just simply so here is the cytoplasm and this is the plasma membrane Anyhow, here is the two type of virus can be invade RNA virus or DNA viruses. So, for example, RNA virus will uh, show the different signaling pathway, while the DNA virus is the different signaling pathway. For example, here is the RIG1 here, which that is stimulated by the single stranded RNA, and the MAD5, which that will be stimulated the IPS1. This the uh, IPS1 is a basically uh, stimulate the um, a TBK1 and IKK E epsilon and in this way here is the IRF interferon receptor uh, uh, factor 3 and interferon receptor factor 7 in this way it will be bind after this bind in the IRF3 and IRF7 Will be dimerized so the dimerization will be occur and in this way the phosphorylation to become a transcriptional factor so this is the transcriptional factor will bind with a specific gene for the activation and that gene will produce the interferon different type of interferon so that is why the pathogen will induce the interferon so remember isr isr c3 and 7 bind together to produce the interferon so here is the another pathway is the pkr and this pro, uh, protein kinase receptor which that is a, a ips1 and fat which that is stimulate the ikk interferon kinase kinase a and interferon kinase kinase b which that is stimulate the protein 50 protein 50 and protein 65 and interferon k Inter, uh, interferon kappa bs which that will be bind and in this way complex formation will trigger the um, uh, necrotic factor kappa b and that will be uh, produced and in this way it can be apoptosis will be occurs because the necrotic factor kappa b target gene but important thing you should need to understand that interferon b uh, beta will produce and um, production from this why just that is happening because it is used for the apoptosis of the other cell so it will be moved toward outside in the extracellular matrix when it move into the extracellular matrix from the intracellular matrix so the interferon b interferon alpha and beta and this interferon which that is bind with the paracrinally or with the autocrinally itself here is the interferon 
alpha receptor and interferon alpha receptor 2 which that is the two different types which that contain a uh, interferon um, ar uh, receptor 1 type which that is bind with the ty tyrosine kinase 2 and in this way that is the two type and jack 1 and jack 1 will bind and in this way the stimulation due to the phosphorylation of the jack protein after the jack protein phosphorylation the recruitment of the stat 1 and stat 2 with a bind with a different receptor after the binding with a different receptor it will be stimulate and dimerization after the dimerization the uh, interferon receptor uh, factor 9 which that is bind also to form a complex formation is the trimerization so this is trimerization will be occur by the phosphorylation to produce uh, in this way the um, interferon uh, isg f3 factor 3 which that is bind also and to trigger the transcription factor for the stimulating the protein and that protein is used for the proliferation or some other purposes uh, on the basis of the requirement for example the proliferation or apoptosis or other things which that you need to understand because it is a proliferation and activation so that is why and to the paracrinally infected cell to kill by a interferon which that is bind to uh, apoptosis while here is the pathogenic bacterial fungi protozoa viruses and unmethylated rna and, and unmethylated cpg dna cytosine uh, cytosine and guanine rich dna which that will be invaded by the detection of the toll like receptor for example here is the uh, toll like receptor showing in the figure which that will be endocytosed by the detection and this is the endosome formation which that's contain toll like receptor 3 toll like receptor 7 and 8 and toll like receptor 9 this is collectively here is the toll like receptor 3 is used for the double stranded rna invasion and single stranded rna through toll like receptor 7 and 8 and double stranded dna is through toll like receptor 9 and after this here is the endosome formation and there are many pathogen which that is invade after this invasion here is another toll like receptor which that will not endosome uh, endocytose and that is why this is a viral glycolipids detecting toll like receptor 4 which that will be activate the uh, tram and trif this is a trif and this is a basically is the localization and it can be an internal uh, a plasma membrane so it is not a internal vesicle formation so it is also activate the tbk1 and ikk3 ikk e so anyhow here is the mid 88 will be bind myd 88 protein will be bind with the toll -like receptor uh, intracellular domain and binding to complex formation with the irf uh, interferon receptor factor 5 and uh, trf uh, 6 and interferon receptor factor 7 and irak4 this will lead to trigger the IRF5 and IRF5 dimerization and R7 dimerization, interferon receptor factor 7 dimerization, and in this way, the after the dimerization will lead to become a transcription factor. So the insulin receptor factor, oh sorry, interferon receptor factor. So in this way, the bind with a different region to activate that protein. Uh, through a gene activation so after this gene activation the interferon alpha isotype the production production of that things and the interferon b uh, interferon beta and interferon alpha this interferon b beta and interferon alpha will produce and after this interferon alpha and beta is used for the paracrinally and autocrine for proliferation as well as the uh, give the response for the killing so thanks for watching